Good day mate. Welcome to Australia, where the land down under not only boasts stunning landscapes but also plays host to various agricultural practices. Today, we'll delve into the intricate world of sugarcane cultivation, specifically focusing on the fascinating process of harvesting seedlings and the unique practice of burning cane in Australia. Our journey begins with the seemingly familiar sight of harvesting, but don't be fooled. What you're witnessing is the collection of sugarcane seedlings. These young plants, approximately six months old, are uprooted and then transplanted into expansive fields, where they will grow into the robust sugarcane that we associate with sweetness. The meticulous replanting of these seedlings is a crucial step in ensuring a bountiful sugarcane harvest in the months to come. Australia's sugarcane thrives in high rainfall and irrigated areas along the coastal plains. The choice of these specific locations is strategic, as the sugarcane requires a consistent water supply to flourish. The ideal growing conditions in Australia contribute to the health and vitality of the sugarcane crop setting the stage for a successful harvest. The sugarcane in Australia experiences a gradual growth process, with harvesting taking place from June to December. Most sugarcane crops in New South Wales NSW, are harvested at the ripe age of two years. Now, here comes the twist, before the final harvest, Australian sugarcane farmers engage in the unconventional practice of burning the cane fields. This method involves setting the sugarcane ablaze to eliminate excess leaf matter. It may sound counterintuitive, but the rationale behind this practice lies in concentrating the sugar content within the sugarcane stalks. Burning cane has a dual purpose. It serves as a form of pre-harvest preparation and contributes to enhancing the sweetness of the sugarcane. The controlled burn removes extraneous material, leaving the sugarcane looking dry but with an intensified sweetness that sets Australian sugarcane apart. In Australia, the labor-intensive task of hand-harvesting sugarcane has largely been replaced by advanced machinery marking a significant shift in the industry. Mechanized harvesting offers several advantages, including increased speed, reduced labor costs, and enhanced precision. Sugarcane harvesters, equipped with cutting-edge technology, navigate the fields with ease, systematically cutting and collecting mature sugarcane stalks. These machines are designed to optimize the harvesting process, carefully separating the sugarcane from the soil while minimizing damage to the crop. Then they will be gathered and taken to the sugar mill. Specialized vehicles, such as large trucks and trailers, are employed to transport the harvested sugarcane. The transportation process is optimized to minimize delays, preserving the freshness and quality of the crop. Australia holds a prominent position in the global sugar market, ranking as the world's third largest exporter of raw sugar. A staggering 80% of the country's sugar production is destined for international markets, highlighting the significance of the Australian sugarcane industry on a global scale. Upon arrival at the sugar mill, the sugarcane undergoes a series of processing steps that ultimately yield the final product, raw sugar. 
Sugar mills are strategically located to serve the surrounding sugarcane fields, streamlining the production process. One notable example is a popular sugar mill in Australia, a hub of activity where the sweet transformation takes place. These mills are equipped with state-of-the-art technology and machinery designed to extract sugar from the sugarcane efficiently. The mill operates as a critical link in the supply chain, playing a pivotal role in the country's sugar industry. Within the sugar mill, the harvested sugarcane undergoes crushing, milling, and extraction processes. The sugarcane juice is extracted, and subsequent steps involve purification and concentration to obtain the raw sugar. This raw sugar serves as a valuable commodity for various applications, both domestically and internationally. Australia's dominance in the international sugar market is fueled by the export of raw sugar produced in these mills. The country's commitment to quality control, technological innovation, and sustainable practices contributes to its reputation as a reliable supplier of premium raw sugar.